people that he called her a disaster. I mean, he said it was his fragile male ego. Then why is he fighting with her? Well, because he likes her. And I know that B likes Ben. She's just denying herself because she's got in her head somehow that she'll never love again. Whoa, I'm, I'm not talking about love, baby. I'm talking about dick. Oh, it's Ben. Oh. Hey, you. Oh, God, they got to you, too. What? Did you just overhear Holly and Claudia say how much I like you? No. Really? It was Pete and Roger. <laughs> Fantastic. It's a team effort. They're trying to get us together. No way. Come here. Oh, maybe they want us to stop acting like assholes so we don't ruin the biggest event of their lives. Us. There is no us and assholes. You're the one who destroyed the living room. Would you do mind <laughs> helping me with something? I hate to ask, but I'd really appreciate it. Sure. Yeah. So, Roger left his sunglasses on the sailboat. I swear, if his head wasn't screwed on, we'd use it as a bowling ball. Do me a favor and swim out and get them. It's the one on the right. Both of us. Is that really a two-person job? It doesn't seem like it. <laughs> you two. Hmm? Yeah. A day to win a gonna snow me And I got a bad thing going But I'm into it All right, so everyone's involved in this. I know. I feel bad. Me too. I don't want to bum Holly and Claudia out. Kathleen. Can you not swim? I'm an excellent swimmer. Why are you so out of breath? I'm fine. How much further do you think? Are your eyes closed? I think it's dark. Why are you so out of shape? You have like a 10 pop. I'm not out of shape. I've been to 295, 300 once. I just don't do cardio. Oh my God, you're hot girl fit. I'm not hot girl fit. Okay, my bad. We'll see you at the boat. Wait. 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 I could have done it myself, but whatever. Thanks. No fucking way. Honey, look who's here. <laughs> I cannot believe they did this. Who is that? That is my ex, Jonathan. Hey, really? What is he doing here? My Black Hawk helicopter parents have been trying to get us back together for the past four months. They flew him halfway across the world to your sister's wedding? That's some deep op shit. They came to play. That's my parents. They think I'm throwing my life away. Honey, we're just gonna take him back and get him all settled in. I'll see you later. You know, maybe we should do it. Just tell everyone we're together. What? It would solve that problem for me and that problem for you. I don't have a problem. You clearly want Margaret. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I saw the way you looked at her last night, and I know she broke your heart. She sees you're with me, she wants what she can't have, and then bye-bye, Crocodile Jack. Fuck, he's fast. Making her jealous is not gonna work. We're not in seventh grade. Trust me, bro. We're all in seventh grade when it comes to this stuff. They've already gone through all of the bullshit trying to trick us into each other's arms. Let's just embrace it. There's no way we can convince anyone we actually like each other. Yeah, you're right. I know. You know, I still think about that night we spent together. Shut up. No, I'm serious. You know, this could be kind of fun. We're at a wedding a million miles away from home. Who knows what could happen under the cover of a masquerade? And that night at your place, no matter how it ended, 
It's still pretty amazing. <clears throat> Convincing enough? Fuck it. Let's do it. Just wait.